Hello, and welcome to Phil Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Dameware. Here we are on the server Dameware 1. I have the installation for Dameware on the desktop. I'll open it up so we can install it on this server. I'll double click this program and start the installation process. Okay, let's click on next. I'll accept this license agreement and click on next. I want to have a desktop icon. Okay, let's install it. I'll have to put an email address inside of here. So I'll make it to administrator at philibrown.us. I'll just simply continue the evaluation. Okay, it looks like it's finished. We have installed the server part. Let's take a look at it. This is the remote connect console. Over here are the computers that can be looked up using Active Directory. This is a button to connect to the chosen computer. And you can send a chat to somebody at a specific computer. This is when you want to end the screen sharing session. And this is for a new connection. This gives us a number of options of how we could connect a screen sharing session with the remote computer. And we have a number of other choices down here too. Okay, let's look at the other part of Dameware, which is the client side. These programs will allow us to connect to other window computers. There are a number of ways we could get this client program to the client computer. I have simply chose to use file sharing to copy it to the desktop. Let's go ahead and run the program. And when it's finished, it will create an icon in the system tray. When we hover our mouse over the icon, it will give us the computer name and the IP address. Okay, now we're back on the server Dameware 1. Let's take a look at the list inside of Active Directory and see which computers are listed. We have Dameware 1, our server, and PC1. These are the only two currently on the network. I'll highlight PC1 and click on the connect button. Oops, I forgot to change the authentication type. Now let me try it again. Notice it's saying it's negotiating the version of Dameware that it will use. Okay, we can see PC1 inside of the window. We also have a number of options at the top. I'll hover over a few of them so you can see what they do. I'll enlarge it to full screen. Notice that now I can move the pane around. I can click on this button to activate the Control Alt Delete. My mouse is able to interact with the interface. And so is the keyboard. I am able to access this computer from anywhere in the world under the right circumstances. Dameware has some useful tools for making remote access a lot easier. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.